Here's where we start cheese making. Wouldn't it start with a cow? Is this black truffle cheese? No, he put some dirt in it. <laughs> a little bit of salt. It's going to be really lovely. That is the ultimate French fry. The cheese making. Welcome to Farm to Fork. I'm Nick Benninger. Farm to Fork is made possible with the generous support of Explore Waterloo Region. For a comprehensive guide on where to eat and what to see and do in the area, visit explorewaterloo.ca. Today I'm in New Hamburg, Ontario at Mountain Oak Cheese. I'm meeting Adam and Hanny Van Bergeek, fifth generation dairy farmers who, because of the ideal conditions, came to the region from Holland in the 90s. Now, Mountain Oak Cheese is a local landmark and its specialty goudas, quarks, and curds attract cheese lovers from across the province. From growing the feed through raising and milking the cows, this farm is completely self-sustained. And Adam, now in his 70s, puts in long hours, making sure every step of the process is done absolutely perfectly. Ow! I love to make cheese. I love it. Hi, guys. You must be Adam. Hi, Nick. Henny. How are you doing? Hi, Nick. Great. Good morning. Thanks. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to Thanks meet you. Thanks for having me here on your beautiful farm. It's an amazing property. I can't wait to explore it more. Thank so, you. So uh, yes. you started making cheese in 2012? Yes. What yeah. drove you guys to making cheese? Was there any good Gouda here when you guys got here? Uh, gouda is what we really like. And uh, we couldn't find the cheese. And then we said, we're kind of stupid. We can make it ourselves. All right, okay. let's go make yeah. some cheese. So Nick, this is our uh, store. That smell, it's amazing. Oh, thank right you. Henny's passion is interacting with customers. Yeah, I love Talking it. with, with yeah. people and... Show interest in yeah. somebody else's life. And that's why people come back too. Well, shall we take a tour of the facility and see how that's it's right. made? Then we're gonna see. Awesome. Get your hands dirty. Oh, mine? Let's or, do it. Or clean first. Yeah, yeah. So I'm not just touring the plant. I'm rolling up my sleeves and making some cheese. I put the, those one on and I let you do the other one. Really gentle, because then you're damaging. Zero pressure. <laughs> that was the hardest thing I've done today. I think you gave him a 75%. That beats every grade I ever got in school <laughs> when I showed up. The fluid looks really nice and green. Do you drain it, all the liquid out, or do you stop? No, but I need to get a third of my fluid away. It's an eyeball thing, like... The biggest part, yes. Yeah. You do that on purpose, so they can't get rid of you? Job security, yeah. they call that. I do that too, keep a few secrets. Oh yeah, that's firmed up quite a bit, eh? Quite a bit. That's awesome. Because your tongue is the most sensitive thing to feel what you're doing. My ego, my ego is pretty sensitive. Yeah, mine too. If we make good, uh, everything gonna be drained in the drain table. He's clever. And that brings it on the lift. Then we put the squares into a round form. Any advice here or what? Don't break it. Thanks. <laughs> Hello, Nick, the cheese maker. Well, I don't think I've got the chops to be an expert cheese maker, but I am feeling pretty inspired, and I've got some Canadian classics in my mind right now. We'll see where this goes. I will show you one of those cheeses, what we made this morning. Wow, so this is just from today. Yes. Is this black truffle cheese that we're talking about here? No, he put some dirt in it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is black truffle. Amazing, can yep. I smell that? Oh yeah. I like how you're holding it like a tender baby. It is. <laughs> <laughs> then we put them in the brine for two days. Really? And when we take them out, they go into storage. I'd like to show you how that's going to go. Awesome. Let's see that. So, Nick, this is uh, our storage room. No kidding. We have around 4,000 views. Wow, that's amazing. What an amount of cheese. 
What an aroma. What a financial investment. This is awesome. Every flip the cheese every day is wrong. Every day? Every day. Every piece of cheese? Yes. Yep. Right on. So I'm gonna show you what we do in here. We're gonna take the core out of the cheese. So next one is yours, right? Eh? Yeah. Ow. <laughs> so you see it has a nice hole in it. That's awesome. Okay. Oh, that smell is incredible too, that truffle. Okay. I'm intrigued by how popular their truffle gouda is. So I think I'm gonna play with that mushroom flavor a bit and maybe elaborate on it. We're gonna have a lot of fun. For the last stop in the tour, Adam took me to the source of the operation, the cows in the barn. I could use one of these ceiling fans in my bedroom. So Adam, this is an amazing facility. How many cattle are in here right now working in the milk uh, world? Altogether close to 550. 550 total cattle. Yep. That guy's getting a massage, I love that. And uh, what are they eating? What's the feed? So there is corn silicin. So it's what we call a total mixed ration. This have all the ingredients what a cow need for every day. Amazing. And, um, and you grow this? Yes, we grow our own feed. That's incredible. And, and this thing coming at me here. That is our uh, feed pusher. And it just have a little beep, makes the cows Hey, the feed pusher is going. Will it run me over? It might give you a push. <laughs> yeah. It beeped at me. Yep. I think it wants to feed me too. So Adam, I thought I was gonna get to milk some cows, but this looks like you've got something better for the job. Yes, we have an automatic milking system. It milks 24 hours a day. Yeah. And you see cows lining up because they want to be milked and they're gonna be milked up to maximum six times a day. What's their reward for coming to the robot? Do they get a treat? Yeah, they get a treat. Yeah. And it gives a really good information on the quality of the milk and the health of the cow as well. Everything has yep. to be perfect. Quality of feed, care for the cows. You, you can make no. a bad cheese out of good milk, but it's hard to make a good cheese out of bad milk. It's very cool. I love seeing how happy these guys are. Happy cow, happy life. Happy cheese. All right, I'm excited. I've got these incredible cheese curds. They're fresh, they're squeaky, they're milky. I know exactly what I'm gonna cook these guys. I'm stoked, let's get cooking. All right, my fire's going. I got hungry folks and all the ingredients I need. Let's get chopping. I've got my taters chopped. They're into the water. So that's gonna give us some really nice French fries. We've got our shallots on. So this is our beef stock here. We need to make it into a demi-glaze to get it down to a really nice, rich consistency. A little ways to go on that yet. So I'm just gonna put that beautiful bacon on top. It'll give me the fat that I need to cook those shallots. A little bit of char is good. Nothing burned is burned, it's charred. You really involve every sense when you're cooking outside. You really have to pay attention to everything. So I got all my potatoes out by pre-boiling them like this. We end up with those really feathery edges and that's gonna be absolute gold when we get to the frying stage. So we've got our beautiful bacon on and the next thing I'm gonna do is throw in whole cremini mushrooms on our grill here, get some color on them. Our fries look like they're perfectly done. We've got a really nice crisp on the outside and the inside is gonna be nice and fluffy. That to me is the ultimate French fry. Oh, I lost one. A little salt. So the next thing I want to do is get my cheese curds down on my potatoes. Getting them on there right away so they can pick up on that residual heat is really important. Next, we can start building up our garnishes. So we've got our really nice seared mushrooms. Then we'll layer on our shallots. And then our final garnish, our piece de resistance, is this beautiful thick cut slab bacon. And the final step is just to ladle a bit of our beef jus right on top. That's gonna give it that famous Quebecois flavor. I hope you guys are wow. hungry. Wow. I've got a Delicious. beautiful poutine here. We've got some crispy fried taters, your wonderful cheese curds, some caramelized mushrooms, some cider braised shallots, and our signature bacon on top. And then the last thing I need, Adam, can you grate some of that salty, crystallized, beautiful yes, aged I cheese? Will. Make it rain. 
Awesome. Who's hungry? Can I have your plate? <clears throat> so you're gonna get a whole slab of bacon, some fries. Wow, looks good. Awesome, dig in guys. Okay, enjoy your meal. Love it. Yeah, it's good. very good. Yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Love it. Listen, really I want to thank you guys for having me today. This was an amazing experience. I really enjoyed getting to know the family, how the farm works, the intricacies of Gouda and cheese making. It's been a really great experience. So thank you so much for having me. Yeah, well, and we love they, to have you over here. I enjoyed it really well. And uh, I think we had a beautiful time. We did. Cheers to that. Cheers. Yep, cheers.